In this week's roundup, Leonardo DiCaprio teams up to save the vaquita, an albino dolphin returns to California, snake venom could help save heart patients, and the first Balkan lynx cub photographed in over a decade. Starting in Myanmar with worrying findings, reported elephant kills have increased dramatically with most of the Myanmar cargo headed for China. Despite the ivory ban imposed by the Chinese government earlier this year, ivory is still fetching high prices. Conservationists are also seeing a growing demand for parts like trunk, feet, skin, and even the penis. In happier news, actor and environmentalist Leonardo DiCaprio has jumped into the fight to save the critically endangered vaquita, the world's smallest porpoise. DiCaprio has joined the president of Mexico and the country's wealthiest individual to permanently ban the use of gill nets in the area. Speaking of cetaceans, an albino dolphin calf seen recently in Monterey Bay was confirmed as the same one that popped up in 2015. The colorless youngster is a Rissos dolphin. Off to the Galapagos, where scientists are considering bringing back an extinct giant tortoise. Genetic tests done on living tortoises suggest that some are at least recent descendants of the Floriana species. A captive breeding program has been started with the goal of returning the animal to its namesake island. Staying with reptiles, an experimental antiplatelet drug may help save heart patients. The drug, which is based on a protein found in snake venom, prevented blood clotting in mice without causing excessive bleeding. Over in North Carolina, photo surveys have confirmed that gray seals are making a comeback off New England and Eastern Canada. Drones, Google Earth, and thermal cameras were used in the study, which proved that local seal conservation efforts are working. Similar tech is also helping scientists map invasive species. The unwanted visitors tend to congregate in areas of high human activity. Islands are especially prone to invasion, and that information can help us set up the right combat measures in the future. A spider was recently named after Australian surfer Mick Fanning. The pattern on its back and unique genitalia set the new species apart. Rounding off with a couple of exciting updates. The first ever Balkan lynx cub was photographed in over a decade. GPS data from its mother's collar led conservationists to the healthy cub. They plan to monitor the critically endangered cat as it grows. And a rare black vulture was released after being found wounded in Russia's Land of the Leopard National Park. That's it for this week. We want your opinions on these nature news stories. Be sure to let us know what you think in the comments below.